Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. An acclaimed actor and friend of Nelson Mandela today told Mail Online he is baffled by the Duchess of Sussex's suggestion that his country had rejoiced when she married Prince Harry and revealed he has never met her despite claiming to be the only South African member of the cast in Disney's recent remake of The Lion King. Dr. John Kenny believes the Duchess of Sussex has made a full pass after she used a US magazine interview to imply her 2018 royal wedding sparked celebrations in South Africa, reminiscent of the release of his friend Madiba, the legendary anti-apartheid leader. A few days after the publication of this bombshell interview, Dar John Kenny, who voiced Rafiki in the live-action version of Disney's The Lion King, said he was the only South African member of the cast and he had never met Meghan. He told Mail Online, I did not go to the opening in Leicester Square as I didn't have the time to do that. It just may be a misremembering on her side. It is baffling me. I am the only South African in the cast. I play Rafiki. Seth Rogen plays Pumba, Donald Glover plays Simba and Beyonce plays Nola. While Dar Kani was the only South African actor with a role in the film, other South Africans were part of the production of The New Lion King. As previously reported by Express.co.uk, an insider close to South African singer Linda Wim Kais, who sang Circle of Life in the film, claimed the star had not spoken to Meghan during the glitzy event which took place at the Leicester Square Audion Cinema in July 2019. Now, fans of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have unearthed a clip from the premiere, where Meghan can be seen chatting amiably with South African producer and composer Lebohan Morek, most commonly known as Lebo M. While it is impossible to work out from the video what the artist told Meghan and Harry during their encounter, fans of the Duchess appear to believe Lebo M was the person who made the comparison between the royal wedding and the liberation of Mr. Mandela. Upon sharing the clip on Twitter, social media user one royal fan wrote, While walking the receiving line of cast and crew for The Lion King, Macon seemed to have such a warm exchange with Lebohan Morek, one of the composers. Retweeting the video, an expert appeared to suggest the Duchess was being vindicated in the wake of claims Megan's story may not have been correct. They wrote, Megan's Mandela story is true. Another Twitter user wrote, Thank God for supporters who'll find receipts like this. So what do you think guys? Please share your thoughts in the comments. Until then thanks for watching, we'll see you again with some more interesting news about royal family. Thank you.